What's up, people? Um, today I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the electrical system in my 650i 2JZ project. Um, I will be once I put the 2JZ in, I'll be putting a uh, probably around a 300 amp alternator in. Um, I know it's overkill. I don't care. Yeah. I know it's overkill. I don't care. Okay, as you see, I got two wires running in front of the gas tank here. And they're popping out down here. So what I'll go ahead and do is um, pull enough to reach the front. Um, I'll solder some tips on here, put them on the post, and then zip tie to this red uh, existing wire. Here's the post I'm going to mount it on. So now I'm going to run my two wires, um, I could just run them out here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in here, put some grommets in, so, put some cheap grommets here, found the grommet that fits this 4 gauge. Fits the 4 gauge pretty good. And I have a step drill bit here. That um, I'm gonna take it to step two first and uh, see how that fits. So yeah, I'm gonna go drill, drill. I'll be right about here. And then I can run the wires over here to where I'm gonna have the shunt. Right here. Here's the holes nice and clean. I'll shut the wires through there. So the wires tucked around here. Um, run up over here, right about here. I'll put the shunt, I might put a battery isolator back here as well, so I might mount the shunt high, so I'll make sure to leave a little bit of slack on here on these wires here.
It'll be good to go to mount. Yep. Boom, boom. Now I gotta run, run two more lines that I have since I have the wire already from the, this terminal here and watch. So I'm gonna run from this terminal. This is the original terminal. And this was spun around this way. This would go to the battery area. So what I'm gonna do is flip this around. Um, and I'll put two wires on here and run them to the um, to the shunt as well. Okay, so I notched a hole here. Which is gonna come out right here. I'll be able to hit these lugs, this lug. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna remove this part and I have some rubber. I'm gonna cut a hole in the rubber and line this area so there's no uh, no way these can touch the metal. It's painted metal anyway, but it's an extra layer of protection. So that's what I'll do. Okay, there it is. Nice and tight. How oh, I like it. The ground for the battery is right here. And since I'm gonna put a battery here and a battery there, I'm going to mimic what they did. So I'm gonna put a longer bolt in here. I removed the bumper, popped it out. I'll take this bolt here, get a bolt about a half inch longer and a nut. That way I can run a ground from here, over here to this battery. So battery number two will be over to the left here. I got another tray that I'm gonna mount here. And just like that battery, there'll be one here. Um, this will be the start battery. And then this one will be the accessory battery. I have a isolator. I'll probably mount up here. So that way when the car is off, it's only running off of the accessory battery and not draining the main battery, the start battery. Let's get it. Got them screwed down here. Got them screwed down very well. So what I'm gonna do here is I have a one out or uh one slash zero, these are both the same number. But this green one has a lot more copper in it. Quite a bit bigger. Which is fine. But I'm gonna run from this bolt. That's where the um the factory ground is usually attached to. I'm gonna run it to this battery, and I'm gonna run another one from here over for this battery and then both batteries will be grounded as you see I got all the wires ran to this location here um, where I'm going to put the shunt for the amp meter I want to know how much current my my uh, system is drawing from the uh, alternator and um, these go to the bolt that's for the um, original wire um, I just ran two because I had this wire and it's easier to tuck two wires instead of a fat one and two additionals running up front. And so, I holes drilled. Now let me zip tie it real good.
So the feed that used to come from the battery underneath here to this fuse box area, which is also underneath here, um, was this line here. And I'm running this, I'm running a new line from here all the way around to the starter battery. Make sure to always clean all the surfaces that are gonna mate up against the, uh, get the connection here. It includes a nut, and it includes the back side of the surface. You don't ever wanna to have to mess with this ever again. Line from this distribution point here. I have three lines total, the factory line and two uh, four gauge lines going to the back for a combined increase in current capacity. So from the distribution point down underneath the car to underneath the back seat. And that line comes up here, ba 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 over here. These are all the lines that will come from the alternator from the front of the car. They're going into the shunt. I'll be able to read all the current that is traveling through this, this area here. So this line here goes to my start battery, my start and run battery. Um, this is for the car. This line right here goes to my battery isolator. And this line right here goes to my stereo accessory um, battery so when the car is turned on these batteries connect when the car is turned off they disconnect therefore I can run my accessory battery and kill it and still be able to start the car off of my main battery and if my main battery ever dies I can jump this and start the car So I bought some cheap a &L fuse holders from eBay, and um, I don't want to screw them down to the top of the battery. I can't, right? Um, and these have uh, these are recessed in here, so I want to put some Velcro on here, some heavy-duty Velcro, and I needed to bring these up to level, so I added some fiberglass resin. And each one of these batteries will have a fuse. So initially, the battery and fuse box is down here. I relocated it. I relocated the fuse box up here and the line that feeds the fuse box right here runs around to this battery. This is the main battery for the car and that is the battery for the stereo system and accessories. Um, I grounded this one here as you saw. This one's grounded here as you saw. So basically, the front of the car feeds this battery. This battery feeds this fuse box. This battery feeds these amps and my car computer, which will be in the front there. It's overkill, I know. <laughs> 